and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wild animal specialist. As you know on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only Kaya the Koala. I wish dinosaurs were still alive, don't you? Wouldn't that be cool? They're so interesting. Kaya, you are onto something. I think we should make this episode about an animal who really looks like a dinosaur still. I have an animal in mind. I'll give you a hint. This animal has been living on Earth for millions of years and is sometimes called a living fossil because they have not changed very much since the time of the dinosaurs till now. Oh man, this is exciting. I have no idea, but I'm guessing it's a reptile. Reptiles always remind me of little dinosaurs. It's an American alligator. And you're right, alligators belong to the reptile family. <laughs> All reptiles have a backbone and are covered in dry skin with scales. All reptiles are also cold-blooded, unlike us mammals who are warm-blooded and can heat our own bodies. Cold-blooded animals depend on the natural world around them to provide warmth. That's why you can always catch an alligator sunbathing on a rock or digging holes in the mud to trap some heat. So are alligators huge like dinosaurs? Well, it depends what dinosaur you're talking about. There were dinosaurs as small as you, you know. And then there were really massive dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Fun fact, alligators are the largest reptiles in North America. A large male alligator can be very big. They can weigh as much as 1,000 pounds and be as long as 10 to 13 feet. That's as long as a car. Females are much smaller than the males, and the baby alligators, well, they can fit in your hand. Here's another cool fact. Alligators continue to grow throughout their entire lifetime, and they can live up to 50 years old. Where do American alligators live? I'm assuming they live in America, since it's in their name. Yep. American alligators can be found in southeastern parts of the United States. In places like Florida, Louisiana, Georgia, they live in freshwater environments like swamps, ponds, marshes, rivers, and lakes. Wait, wait. Go back to the part about baby alligators that fit in your hand. Sounds so cute. Baby alligators are called hatchlings. First, a female alligator builds a nest made out of plants, sticks, leaves, and mud near a body of water. She can lay up to 90 eggs, which she covers back up with more plants and mud. As the plants decay around the nest, it heats up and keeps the eggs warm. Female alligators are devoted moms. For the next 65 days while the eggs are warming, she will stay near the nest and stop at nothing to protect her eggs from intruders. To let their mother know that they're ready to hatch, the young alligators make high-pitched noises from the insides of their eggs. Then the mother will start to dig them out of the nest and she'll carry her babies closer to the water in her jaw. A mother alligator will protect her hatchlings for up to a year. What do alligators eat? Alligators are a top predator in their environment. A predator is an animal that naturally preys or eats other animals. While alligators are carnivores, meaning they eat mostly meat, they, they're not exactly strict carnivores. Alligators have been seen eating fruit that's fallen from bushes and trees too. Their main menu is determined by their size. When alligators are younger, they mainly eat smaller fish, worms, snails, and insects. As they get bigger and stronger, they start eating bigger animals like large fish, turtles, birds, mammals like deers, and even other reptiles. Oh, I know a fun fact about alligators and how they hunt. Oh, that's great, tell us. Well, I started looking up animals who have great camouflage after we learned what that meant in the starfish episode. To recap, camouflage is when an animal can blend in with their surroundings. Usually, prey use it so that the predators don't find them. But in this case, the predator is camouflaging in with his muddy surroundings to sneak up on his prey. 
Thanks to the alligator's dark color and excellent camouflage, it's pretty easy for them to slowly sneak up on animals before they attack. For the smaller prey like the fish and birds, alligators will eat them whole in one bite. That's exactly right. <laughs> and for the larger prey, they use their sharp teeth and strong jaw to drag the animals into the water where it is drowned and eaten. Did you know that an alligator's jaw is strong enough to crack a turtle's shell? Actually, alligators have one of the most powerful bites ever recorded for a living animal. Alligators also have between 74 and 80 teeth in their jaws at any given time. And as their teeth wear down or fall out, they're replaced. An alligator can go through over 3,000 teeth in its lifetime. Tell us one more fact about alligators. Alligators are some of the most vocal reptiles on Earth. Even though they don't have vocal cords, they make lots of sounds by sucking in air and then blowing the air out through their lungs. They make different sounds to defend their territory, to call their mates, and to call their young or their babies. Alligators can bellow, growl, hiss, make coughing sounds. And this coughing sound is called a chump. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've ever heard a hatchling call to their mother, but it is the cutest squeak sound. <laughs> I know all about their habitat in the Everglades. The Everglades are a crazy cool and unique habitat for alligators and all sorts of wildlife. What can we do to help save their home? American alligators were once threatened by extinction, but after they were placed on the endangered species list years ago, their population has gone up. The main threat to these reptiles today is habitat loss caused by wetland drainage and human development. Wetland drainage means that humans are taking all of the water out of where these animals live in the swamps. They are completely destroying their homes, and these animals will die off if we take any more. Alligators are so important to the balance of the ecosystem in which they live. Habitat loss means that humans are destroying animals' natural homes to make more room for human homes, shops, farms. While humans need these things, we need to try and put them in places where alligators and wildlife are not already living. Something you can all do right now to help alligators and all animals is to help restore habitat loss. This means to rebuild their homes again. You can help reduce this threat by planting native trees, restoring wetlands, uh, cleaning up beaches in your area. It's up to us, the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's all work together to make sure animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every creature on this planet. And now it's question time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false? Alligators have one of the most powerful bites ever recorded for a living animal. The correct answer is true. An alligator's jaw is so strong it can bite through a turtle's shell. What traits do all reptiles have? Is it A, they are cold-blooded, B, they have scales, C, they have a backbone, or D, all of the above? The correct answer is D, all of the above. All reptiles are cold-blooded, have scales, and have a backbone. What is a baby alligator called? Is it A, a cub, B, a larva, C, a pup, or D, a hatchling? The correct answer is D, a hatchling. You guys did great. Kaya and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. See you later, alligator. Bye, guys. See you later, alligator. Bye, see you next time. You guys are the best, bye.